This is step one of the uh, tutorial for creating a login. And this is found over at phpeasystep.com. The first step is to create a database. So I've got my PHP my admin interface opened up for MySQL, and I'm going to create a new database. And this database I will call RalphCo7. Now that the database is created, I'm going to create a table inside of it. And then the table I'll call members. We need a place to store the usernames and passwords for various people so that we can you know, store their logins. And we'll start off with three fields. And these three fields will be um, ID, username, and password. For ID, we'll make that an integer, four characters, auto increment, and the primary key. For username and password, these can each be up to 64 characters in length. All of them, of course, are not null. For table type, we'll go for my ISAM, which is um, just one of the storage techniques that MySQL can use. And then I'll click Save to create the table. So our table has been created. Now, to insert some initial data into the table, there's a number of ways you could do it. You could do it in a, in a very manual way. You could import it as a uh, text file, you know, a CSV file or something like that. In the directions from PHP uh, EasyStep.com, they they provided an SQL statement to put some data into this new table. So I'll go ahead and type in the SQL they provided. And now that that's been run, I can browse, and I can see that my table contains at least the username and password for one individual, and that'll be enough to get us started.